My cat's alerted me to a visitor. And looky who's out here. I gave him a scoop of uh, cat food. They're just sitting there. They know that, you know, I won't get them through the window. I think these might be half tails, uh, two young ones from last year. And they remembered that I gave them food. That one time. My back porch light isn't uh, working right now, so. Oh. So I've got the uh, dining room light on. Mm, yeah, you're looking at this through glass with kitty nose prints all over it. <laughs> I need to wash it again. Hair just too cute. Yeah, they use their hands. See if they'll let me put the camera down by them. Open it just a little bit. Hi guys. It's okay. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> now you can see them clearly. You can hear my neighbors upstairs, I think. Chattering away. They're so cute. Hi. It's been raining, so they're kind of... Their fur's a little wet. Hi. Yeah. These are young ones. Yeah, I think these are half tails. Uh, two little, two kits from last year. From October. Hi. Hi. They're actually, the food is about maybe 10 inches from me. Hi. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. The doors only open about two inches, two, three inches. Just enough. Uh, no, Deuce. Back off. <laughs> Deuce was the one who alerted me. He came over here and started growling and carrying on, and I'm like, what are you going on about? Is there a cat out there? No, there's two raccoons out there. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hi. I'm very inquisitive. Hi. Yes, I'm not going to hurt you. I promise. I'm not going to hurt you. He's okay. Yes, he's okay. You are so cute. Yes, you are. Mm. You're so cute. Raccoons are very, very pretty, very, very intelligent. Very inquisitive little critters. And they love shinies. Anything shiny. They can 
short work at a pile of food I put there for them. Yeah, I think they remember from October. Hi. When uh, I gave them some, them and their mom some food. Huh. Yes, you remember, huh? And then I stood there the whole time and did not hurt them, didn't approach them. They're not tame by any stretch of the imagination, but they are um, acclimated to humans a little bit. But no, these are not tame by any stretch of the imagination. These are very, very wild animals. That's why I'm behind a patio door, and the door's only open about three inches, so you can see, see these guys. And why I'm not trying to pet them. <laughs> they would either run for the hills or they would try and bite me out of fear. It's a defense mechanism. That's why an animal will bite or claw or kick or otherwise injure a person when they try to, to touch them. It's because they're afraid and they're trying to protect themselves. If they fight, they figure, you know you'll back off and leave them alone. But if you don't approach them, see how calm they are? Well, relatively anyway. They're just looking around, perfectly happy to sit there and eat. And they will sit there and they will eat that whole pile of food. Now, if I stand up, they will uh, back off a little bit, thinking I'm coming out. But if I shut the door, I love their little hands, five fingers, five little fingers. Upstairs, they dropped something, and, and, uh, Hi, it's okay. It's okay. Yes, it's okay. You're okay. They're not gonna get you from up there, trust me. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I'm going back off. It's okay. Now that they know the door's closed, they're okay. They'll actually come up and put their paws on the front of the, on the door with me literally right on the other side. Hi, guys. They're almost done with the food. Raccoons <laughs> are so pretty. 